Right then, welcome back to a very soggy Snetterton. We're on the Snetterton 300 on a 2019 Fireblade with a 20 minute endurance race. Yes, another one. Hey ho. Right, there's the setup. Please note that unlike most Hondas, it is not a 2 and 8 setup. It's a little bit different and I'm not gonna lie to you, it wasn't, it wasn't amazing, but at the same time, it was quite rideable despite despite the <laughs> mistakes that were made. But it is what it is. I just I do a bit of testing and then we give it a go. If all the bikes were the same, it'd be boring, wouldn't it? But yeah, there's your setup. Um Rake and Trail one, probably run that on two. We did what six laps and we ended at 144.472, which would have put us 14th. Uh, there was 144.0, which would have put us up in 10th, but we're a fair way off the fastest times. That's on a 2014 R1 as well. That is very good. Very, very, very good indeed. So, how long? Yes, please check the description for more information because there's always a little story or anecdote in there to uh, give you a bit more of an overview. How long before the AI knock us off? Place your bets now, corner one, corner two, or corner three. Roll up, roll up, let me take your money. Well, one rider binned it off the start. I was quite happy to sit at the back and not get involved. There was going to be plenty of blocking and mucking about. And it wasn't until, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, table chairs and drawers, turn four, and not going in, but coming out. We upset the R1, and the R1 decided they were going to get us back, and we went cartwheel into the dirt. We gained a couple of places, we ended up still in 19th because we got away early now at the R1. We, came, we gained a couple of places a lap later. It took to the start of lap 3 before we made any meaningful progress. The track was just starting to dry out, but look at the weather, it is dull. A typically British summer's day. Dull, cloudy and slightly claggy. Yes, not nice, but we were having a bit of a ding dong, a bit of knocking about, blockers were out, look at the Suzuki in front, he's not interested in the racing line, he's interested in where I am, he'll take a slightly different line to the other bikes, there we go, look, just a bit tighter, just to block me on the exit, and then just into the second right-hander before the back straight, he just dabs the brakes on there, little sod, just mucked me up, and I got on the gas a bit early, and guess what, we went to the moon, fly me to the moon, yeah, anyway, we're off again, back to 19th, and I think, and now I've had enough of these wet tyres, it's starting to move about, slide about, it's not good. Into the pits now, all the testing was done on a hard front, medium, rear, that's what we went for. Full tank of go-go juice, liquefied dinosaurs, whatever you want to call it, and out we went. Bang, last, 45, 46, 47, 48, 48 seconds, nearly 50 seconds behind the leader. Holy moly, that's not just last, that is like, wow, beyond last. So, end of lap four, up past the pits, we went 19th, 20th, 19th, 20th, 19th. Are you sure? There's another one coming out there, so we'll get him, that's 18th as well. So we've made a massive two places, but more importantly, I've made a bit of time for the leader. Lap five coming past, only 34 seconds to the leader, up to 9th, 10th, 9th, 10th, 9th, 8th. So, we're getting somewhere now. Can, if we can keep taking chunks out of the leader, we stand a little bit of a chance. Way too deep into there, Oggies. Little bit messy, sorry, that was another Honda rider that just got splattered. But again, don't aim for where the bike isn't, aim for where the bike is, and then when you get there, it won't be there. End of lap, sorry, end of lap six, start lap seven, we're up to seventh, 12 seconds behind the leader. There are a few riders in front of us already pitted, however, they are drinking juice at an extraordinary rate. The good thing is we're fast, we're really fast. Round the outside of two people into Brundles, turn eight, and then into Nelson. Look at that, that was absolutely beautiful. However, it wouldn't be an endurance race for me, unless I made an absolute horlix of it, would it? No. So coming out of turn 10, into turn 11, long right hand at Corum, we get on the grass and flick ourselves off again. It winds me up. So we were back down to 8th, past the pits at the end of the lap, up to 7th, 16 seconds behind the leader. Again, there's a mishmash of fuel strategy in front of us. We've got 51%, some of them have got 40, 70. And let's just take a couple of seconds for the beautification of this game. It is absolutely stunning. It was dull as dishwater when we first started, now look at it. I would give many of my digits to ride a motorcycle around that track in that weather, 24 degrees glorious sunset. I bet this flies everywhere. I bet it stinks. 
Like they're going through visor cleaner and tear offs like you would not believe. But anyway, start of lap 9, 14 seconds, past the pits, end of lap 9, 13 seconds, up to 4th. Ooh, two laps left, 1 minute 45 a lap, that's what, 3 minutes 30. Two laps left, can we do it? Can we do it? Well, end of lap 10, someone bins it into Murray's, Murray's hairpin in the bottom of the straight, we go up past the pits, Sophie Lloyd's in the pits, that puts a second, three seconds, we've got a one lap to make three seconds up. Ladies and gentlemen, can we do it? Well, the leader has 33% fuel. There's no way on this earth the leader's going in the pits. No, it's not going to happen, is it? No? Yeah? No? Well, we will only watch and find out. Big wheelie coming out the first hairpin. Look for the invisible braking point on the right. A bit hard on the brakes. So this, now the fuel's low and the temperature's drop, just dropping off. The tyres are struggling. The bike's starting to move about. Um, I must admit, I have been struggling recently with a change of conditions on these 20 minute races where the temperature drops off by 3-4 degrees and all of a sudden my tyres go cold so maybe what I need to do is run a slightly softer tyre when I do a test and get it warmed up a little bit more and it might carry temperature through to the end of the race but anyway, still 3 seconds, that's half the lap done now, still 3 seconds, I'm not making any inroads, I can see him, he's just up there, little Mr George Adams, there he is look, scurrying away down the straight. 3.1 onto the straight, 2.9, 2.8, 2.8, 2.7. I'm not going to count them all because that would make me a weirdo. Fuel lights just come on. He's got 25% fuel. He's got a quarter of a tank of fuel. Quarter of a tank to get him to the finish. Miles in front of us. Just under two and a half now. Ooh, it's getting close. 13 seconds in front of third, so that's not a factor. Losing a bit of time. Always lose a bit of time. Not very good cold front tyre just won't, won't give me the support I need. Yeah, we're not going to win this. Anyway, we did alright, we were last for ages and we ended up, and he's gone in the pits. What an absolute idiot. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, plan your fuel strategy better because he's just lost that race for no reason whatsoever. But I'll take it, a win is a win. And as much as I berate the AI fuel strategy, sometimes, sometimes it works out okay. And there you go, we won it. We went from stone last, miles behind, to first. I don't know how, it was one of those weird things where the AI stupidity works for you. And that's all you're getting. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for commenting, liking. Oh, look at the purple wheels. They're actually blue when I play it. Still a problem with my laptop processing these videos, but I can't afford a new one, so hey-ho, it is what it is. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and fingers crossed, I will see you next time. Take care, stay safe, peace.